We made it to Bajawa. Bajawa, here we are. Look at this town. You probably don't have a clue where that is. We are still in Flores. Uh, an island in Indonesia. And uh, Bajawa is not a place people hear about, really. I no. have never heard about this before we actually looked into Flores Island. People don't really hear about Flores or any of the cities on this island, to be honest. But today we've got a super exciting place to visit. Came, we drove here four hours on the bus. From Ruteng. That was our road. Yeah. And we're going to take you with us. The climate is very nice here. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. Yeah, I'm actually wearing long trousers. Like, yeah, it's perfect. And this is our view. Like, beautiful. That's like a volcano, you can see. Oh, over yeah, the top yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just like a really nice, authentic village. Mm. And um, I got the feeling we're going to get the same sort of reaction from locals as we did in our last vlog. I hope so. Yeah, I think we will. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get maybe some bikes to head to this village. We can get a scooter, but the roads are, the roads are very windy, so I'm not 100% sure mm. I want to get a bike here. But anyway, let's go get a bike and get on our way to the yeah. village. Yeah. journey over honestly beautiful. so beautiful i'm a bit annoyed now because i think i could have driven it on a scooter well, i don't know i'll be scared on the end but this is uh luba traditional village I think I'm that up. Uh, look at this check exactly on the map oh my knees are hurting because there's a lot of going down so we're gonna go to a bigger hello hello a bigger, more well-known one, very, very built-up one later after this. But, it seems like but this is a small one, no tourist one. Yeah, actually, I quite like this. Tell me about this volcano. Uh huh. It's actually called Beautiful Mother in Indonesian. Oh. It last erupted in 1969, just smoke. But the last proper big eruption was about a thousand years ago. Oh. And you can hike it if you want to. Oh, okay. Yeah, so actually from Bena village you can do a lot of hike. I've got my knees. So they they got these things in the middle. They got these masculine ones which resemble an umbrella and the feminine ones which resemble a house or a little house. What are they for? They do ceremonies and stuff with them. Wow. With these they tie animals when they do rituals around these they and sacrifice. Rituals. Yeah. There's two sacrifices. I'll tell you more facts about these villages when we get to the actual one. The main village. The main one. But to be honest, this is like a real experience because there's no tourists. We haven't paid anyone yet. We have to give a donation. Oh, we said we've got to give a donation. Yeah, but who do we give to? I don't know. <coughs> so that's the school there, apparently. That's where the kids are now. A little bit sad that there's no tourists here. Yeah. And this is the touristy time. Yeah, it's in season. Yeah. You can see you've got like the water buffalo horns here mm. and all the skulls. See? Up on the left. To display the clan's prosperity. Okay. All the sacrifices they do, they keep the skulls. So they do, in these villages, they embrace Catholicism, but they, um, they still run uh, their ancestral beliefs, their ancestral beliefs and custom traditions. So they kind of have a mix of two. It's quite cool that you can just like walk around, but then I guess in any village you would be able yeah. to. So they, they, you ask the lady up here, they do actually live in these houses. This is, it's not just a tourist thing, they live here. And these places actually fit two people, I think they say. And they do ceremonies 
<laughs> oh. So you can give them whatever you want. But yeah. Hello. Hello. Anyway, on to our next village, the main village, where we'll record more and show you more. Um, yeah. It turns out the main village, Bernard Village, is literally 100 meters walk from the entrance here. So. That's a bit of a bonus. But, uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know why you'd have to do that one, but it's nice to see the non-touristy one. I mean, one. you don't have to, but it was really nice to be just there on our own. I like you saw we, we were there very briefly, but in a book it said that they had no one, no guests. Oh yeah, there. in the guest book they had no guests. Yeah. Got our first shot. Oh, that's massive. Benha village. Yeah. So big. Oh, in yeah. we go to this village, <laughs> and wow. Yeah. This is so cool. Mm. So Benar village is the most traditional Nagada village. And there are actually nine clans that live here. They all have uh, a few houses each, the clans. All of these thatch roofs. Do you want to go up the steps? Here we are. So the ancestors are believed to have arrived in Flores just over a thousand years ago. Said that their ship was stranded on the south of Flores and its deck became the neighborhood of Bena, of Java they originated. And looking down, it was supposed to, all the houses shaped in the shape of a ship deck. 45 traditional houses in Bena. Six of each uh, belongs to different clans. Yeah, so each of the nine clans has six houses. Each on each level, as you see, it goes up in levels. You can see each of the levels have these mini houses on, which we saw in the last village, mm -hmm. and these umbrellas. They're called their ancestral totems. The megalithic tombs, Nagadu. They're thatch-like parasol structures, which are these. And Baga, miniature thatched roof houses, which are these. So you'll see a lot of the houses are decorated here. They've got buffalo horns and jaw bones, as you can see up there. You see the jaw bones? Yeah, it looks like it. As a sign of the family's prosperity. So all over the house, they've got these. They've got big steps here. <laughs> hello, good afternoon. Oh, hello. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? That's what they chew, yeah? That's what they're chewing. What is Their mouth's all red, isn't it? So this one, there's one in the middle, this house here. That's Benna's tribe, the oldest tribe in the village, which is the village is named after, Benna. That's their mm. house, right in the middle. And can you see that they've got like um, um, drawings in them? Yeah. Mm. They actually do rituals here three times a year. Oh wow. Three times a year they do rituals here. It'd be cool to be here to see one of those. Yeah, we can sacrifice you. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're coming to one end of it, the top of the village, where there's a shrine to Mother Mary. Oh, oh look here. There we are. Which looks out to the hills and the village. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. And then there's this wow. at the end. Looking over the ocean. That makes me do makes me want to do some hiking. Wow. Oh my god, that's the ocean? Yeah. Wow, that's that's double amazing. You can't really tell it's an ocean, but it is. It's hard to tell, but yeah, it's the ocean. Wow, you've got ocean and mountains. And a volcano just there. Incredible. You can, there are some hiking tracks, you can hike from here. Flores just never ceases to amaze me with its scenery. I, yeah. All Flores. Again, I remember why I wanted to travel. Yeah, this does bring back your hunger for travelling. Yeah. Volcano and the view. It's 
scenery you're dealing with in Flores is unbelievable. We sort of starting to feel like we are back in South America where we originally, I think that was our favorite part of traveling. And this is making us realize we wasted a lot of time in certain parts of Asia. There are certain parts. Not enough time now to explore it properly. Yeah, there are certain parts of Asia, let's say, which are number one favorites for tourists, uh, backpackers, travelers, which... Maybe it's great if you're 18. Yeah, there, there are some places which are just about partying yeah. and not much scenery and culture and things yeah. like that. That kind of put us off those places. But other, other tourists find it amazing. But they might be the young people, I don't know. And a few months ago, we started to feel like, oh, we are a bit bored. We uh, can't be bothered anymore. But now, being in Flores, I'm getting it's back re to my... Reigniting our like yeah. fire so of wanting to travel. So it was wrong with us. It was the places we've been visiting. Yeah. Hmm. Still got like, they must be the recent killed ones. Yeah. And the jaw bones. Oh, it's a kitty. It's big. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, it's like a kitchen. Do you want to have a look? Oh, they got a pot on. Yeah, like a. Oh, hello. Who's there? Kitty. Like a bed area. There we go. Fascinating. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. This is from uh, Poland and England. Okay, lovely family. Just let us have a quick look inside their house. Amazing. Yeah. I paid 50 pence for a bracelet. They've got really nice bracelets as well. Yeah. But um, this is red and white. Red and white for Indonesia. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, do you live here? Do you live here? It's a um, majority of women. Hello. As you can see behind me, family, all women. Uh, the men have gone to work on, they live off farming here. So the men are off for work and the ladies are looking after the place, really. And they've got cats and chickens. It seems like chickens are all as much as a pet as a cat is here. Hello. I wonder what they're doing. Oh. A little chapel church thing. Cheers. Yeah. So as I said, they they do uh, they are Catholic, but they do still follow some traditional ways from their ancestors, which is really nice. So anyway, we are heading out the village. We're going to get back on the bike. Oh, not good enough. This one's got loads. Maybe this is the main house. Each clan has like a main house. So maybe that's the main one. Um. So we're going to get back on the bikes. And we're going to head back to Bajawa. Uh, we're going to stop in town, have a I walk around town, machine. back to our hotel. Hello. Hello. Right on. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hello. So let's head back to the bike. We arrived back in town. Lovely journey back. Yeah, and it was now, very pretty. Very pretty. It was. The, yeah, the town, I mean, the view from the hotel is probably best over the town. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go into Alpha Mart and buy a couple of bits. So we thought one chicken is one, but one chicken is ten. <laughs> and the other's been sold. Yum. Good. Many crumbs, which I like. Mm -hmm. So as we're in town, we got our, had our chicken, bought some stuff, 
You can hear the prayers, called to prayer from the mosque. But most of people here seem Catholic. Yeah, it seems majority Catholic. But, um, yeah, small Muslim. Well, I don't know. Maybe 60 40. I'm in the centre. There's, there's really not much to this town. Just shopping, really. We're staying for one night and then getting up early again and heading straight to our <laughs> yeah. next location. So we're only here for a very, very short yeah. time. You can do a little bit more here, but uh, yeah, we are shattered because we took the bus this morning. Yeah, so, so we got up at five this morning for the yeah. bus today and tomorrow, same again. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, doggy. Hello. Looks like he's trying to bite us. Or maybe he smells the chicken. Oh, yeah. Uh, the hotel we're staying in, it's lovely and the owner is so helpful. Yeah. So far what we noticed, everyone is trying to be helpful. She actually negotiated a deal with an uh, OYAK driver for us. Okay, we're near the hotel now. Oh, there's two goats. Oh, yeah. Hey, goat. Who are you? Hey. Billy goat. <laughs> oh, another goat. <laughs> This is the goat area then. Uh -huh. And we're back. Hello. This is our back of our hotel. Our laundry area. Laundry. What she's doing. This is our room. Quite nice actually. It's yeah, compared to the last one, this is the last couple of hotels. But we still love the last places. Yeah. So we are going to end the vlog on this balcony with a view over the town. Oh, this is so cool. You could the volcano looks so cool, yeah. You could easily stay here like a week, or, yeah? You could, mm, honestly. Yeah. yeah, so this is the end. Yeah. We are shattered. <laughs> and we will see you in money. Volcano time. <laughs>